Hi, my name is Alex from AP Commerce, and in this video, I will do a quick high-level overview demo of the freight container management app from AP Commerce. This is a continuation of the video about the challenges that people face when processing purchase orders from their overseas vendors. In this video, I will talk about creating a container and how to load the purchase lines into the container. Then I will talk about how to process a container all the way from the point of departure to the time that you receive into your final destination. And at the end, I will talk about how to easily allocate any kind of land cost into your container. All right, so now that we got our apps installed and set up, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the purchase order. Make sure my location code is being received to the underwater location. Only the items that are set up in the underwater location are able to be received by the container. If you don't use the underwater location, you could just set it to your final destination location. We could receive it directly to your final destination. In this case, I have a couple of lines set up to the on the water location. The next things I'm going to do is go to my container and set up my container. I am going to click on new to enter a new container. And right here is where we need to put in the information based on what we receive from our freight broker or from the vendor. So I'm going to enter my container information. When we get to the underwater location, if you are receiving directly to your final destination, you could leave this blank. If you want to use the underwater location, you will need to fill this value in. So I'm going to finish setting up my ports and when my estimated date of arrival is going to be. The final destination is where are we going to be receiving this location? What is the final destination for where I'm receiving the products to? So in this case, I'm going to receive it to my main warehouse. Once I have the header set up, I am going to click on the get container lines and get purchase lines. From here, you'll see all of the items that are set up to go to the, the on and water location. From here, I could sort on the item number, I could sort on the vendor. So in this case, uh, I am going to receive all of item 1900S. So I'm just going to highlight these items. In addition, I want to receive 1920. I'm going to click on OK. And this will populate the lines with the containers that uh, I received. When the vendor confirms that the item is being departed, I could click on process departure and this will process the departure for the containers. What this process will do is it will go through and receive all of the purchase orders into the on the water location. After a few weeks, when the container arrives, at the time of the arrival, if you decide that, you know what, we cannot receive the items into the main location as the final destination. While it's still in the dock, before you process the arrival, you can change locations. In this case, I am going to change from receiving it into the main warehouse into my west location. Once I define my final location, I am going to click on process arrival. What this will do is it will post the, the related transfer order and post the shipments from the underwater location to the west location. When the container is loaded onto the truck and it's being received to the final location, we could just click on the process final location. And what this process will do is it will receive the items into the final location. If you have warehouse enabled, require receive enabled in your warehouse setup, in your location setup, it will also create and receive the warehouse receipt. When it's done, the container will move to the posted container area. This is the container that we posted. The last part of this demo is allocating the freight costs. So all you need to do is locate the container or the bill lading number and click on this land the cost allocation for this container. Define your item charge codes and put in the amount. Let's say the, for the cost of bringing in this container, it's $2,000 and I'm going to allocate by the dollar value. And let's say I want to add another miscellaneous freight charge to this container. I could do so here. 
And again, I'm going to allocate it by amount. Once I'm done with all of the allocation, I am going to close out this allocation screen and I am going to create a invoice. Click on create item charge invoice. You can also add it onto existing purchase invoice or purchase order document. In this case, I'm going to create a new item charge invoice. Define my vendor. So in this case, I am going to choose the ABC Freight Company and the document type I am going to create it as a invoice. Click OK. It will create the purchase invoice for you. And if I click on yes to open this document, it will automatically generate the purchase invoice with the item charge assignment, allocate the information to the purchase receipts. And of course, it's allocated by the dollar amount. And that's it. If you have any questions, please send me an email at info at apcommerce.com and also include the link for the app information in case you need to look at other videos regarding this app. Thank you, and I'll talk to you soon.